We, the jury being duly impaneled, sworn and affirmed, find the defendant, Ronald Kelly, guilty of felony murder. Tears shed by two families after a jury hands down a verdict in the Kent State beating trial. A year ago, Ronald Kelly was a college student from Shaker Heights with a promising future. Tonight, he's a convict facing life in prison for the beating death of Christopher Kernich. News Channel 5's Curtis Jackson is in the newsroom with more on what happened in court today. Curtis? Danita, the trial of Ronald Kelly came to a familiar end as he became the second Shaker Heights man in a month found guilty of beating Kernich to death. Judgment day vu. Almost a month to the day Adrian Barker was convicted for the beating death of Kent State student Christopher Kernich, co-defendant Ronald Kelly learned his fate. And a similar reaction to Barker's conviction, the Kelly and Kernich family sobbed when they heard the verdict. We, the jury being duly impaneled, sworn and affirmed, find the defendant, Ronald Kelly, guilty of felony murder. <laughs> The felony murder conviction means Kelly will likely avoid life in prison. His lawyer plans to file an appeal. We're obviously very disappointed, uh, but I can say that we will not give them the gift of surrender. Uh, this uh, fight will continue. The end of Kelly's trial closes the book on a tale of two promising sons of Shaker Heights. Barker and Kelly were students at the University of Akron when a night of drinking and partying at Kent State turned violent. Prosecutors say the two hit kicked and stopped Kernich during a fight. Kernich died from his injuries a few days later. Barker and Kelly claimed they were victims of mistaken identity. They pointed the finger of blame at each other and Kent police. Defense lawyers for both men argued officers botched the investigation by failing to arrest Glenn Jefferson. Jefferson was with Kelly and Barker the night Kernich was killed. Witnesses told police he participated in the attack. Still, he was allowed to go home without investigators testing him for Kernich's DNA. Jefferson was the prosecution's star witness in both trials. On the stand, Jefferson admitted he lied to police about his role in the attack. He's been charged with obstruction and goes on trial next week. Barker returns to court next week as well. He is set to be sentenced and faces 15 years to life in prison. In the newsroom, Curtis Jackson, News Channel 5. All right, we'll have more on this story, definitely covering it next week, Curtis.